In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the atom economy, which is required by GCSE chemistry and is also useful in your understanding of quantitative chemistry, as it allows you to assess how efficient a reaction is in pr producing desired products. So let's start by looking at the formula. So atom economy as a percentage is equal to the molecular mass of the desired products divided by the total molecular mass of all of the reactants and then you multiply that by 100. So if we look at a generic reaction, we can see how we can extract those pieces of information. So say we've got reactant one and reactant two reacting together, they form a desired product, which we're interested in, and then they form another product or perhaps products. And we can ignore those, we only focus on the desired product. So let's see how this matches together. So what we would do is we'd find the total molecular mass of both of the reactants that would go on the bottom of our equation and then the desired product's molecular mass would go on the top of that fraction and then we would multiply that by 100 and that would give us the percentage atom economy and for some students writing this out in words can be quite helpful so if you pause the video pick which way makes most sense to you and take a note of that so in words you would say you find the molecular mass of the desired product then divide it by the total mass of all reactants and lastly you would multiply that by 100 and that would give you the percentage. You've got a clear recipe taking you step by step through exactly how to do the calculation. And now let's do a worked example to see that in practice. So our worked example is what is the atom economy of producing carbon dioxide by burning propane? So we have a combustion reaction here, we've got propane reacting with oxygen, that's of course combustion, and it's producing carbon dioxide plus water and the water is a not useful product that we're not interested in the question tells producing carbon dioxide we're looking at so we can identify our um, desired product and i've just highlighted that there so our desired product is the three co2 and i've put on the other side all of the data that we require so we've got the relative atomic mass of each of those atoms that appear in our uh, equation Let's start by finding the two things that we need to substitute into our equation. So we'll start with the mass of the desired product. We've got three CO2s. So if we find the molecular mass of CO2, we have to multiply that by three. So that's why we've got a big three up front. The molecular, uh, sorry, the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12. So that's why we have a 12 there. And then we've got a two because we've got two oxygens, multiply that by 16, which is the relative atomic mass of oxygen. Stick that in the calculator and we get 132. Then we need to work out the total of all of the reactants. We've got propane and we've got the oxygen, so we have to do all of that. So we're doing three times 12, we've got three carbons. Carbon is 12 plus eight times one. So we've got eight hydrogens. Hydrogen has got a relative atomic mass of one. Then we do the same thing we did in the previous one with a big five out front because we have five O2s and then we work out what one O2 is. So we do two times 16 and we multiply that all by five. That gives us 204. We've now got the two things we need to substitute into the equation. We put that in the equation. So we've got the molecular mass of the desired product, which is 132. That goes on the top. Molecular mass of all the reactants. We've added it all up getting 204, we substitute that in, multiply that by 100, and that'll give us the answer. So we can say the atom economy is 64.7%, and that is our final answer. So take a minute to pause the video, go back through it in your head, write some notes, make sure you follow each and every step, and if you're not sure on something, rewind it and you'll see the explanation again. Lastly, just quickly check that you've got the idea of um, atom economy here's a slightly crafty question some people will be able to solve it straight away by looking at it if you really understand it or you can go through the procedure and calculate it and you may come up with a quite obvious answer when you see it and i'll put the answer in the bottom um, in the description of this video so hopefully it's been helpful to you and you can now calculate atom economy thank you for watching